Surtur has been a pretty good captain. I'm pretty sure he only has one eye, as most pirates do. Well, hello there, sir. Are we almost there? The storm blew us two or three days off course. Skies are clearing up now, though, so it's full sail from here on out. My crew is battered and worn, and so is my ship, but she's still floating. The superstitious among us think that if the thunder crackles five times, then the storm snakes will be swooping in to gobble up the survivors. I don't believe all that though, and besides, I can't count. You gotta love a pirate that can't count. Oh sweet, we're almost there. Wait, are we moving? This is so sick. Wait. Uh, um. Oh snap, dude, we just got caught in a storm. Wait, wait, wait a second. What, are, what is a storm snake? Is that a dragon or like a sea serpent? Um, I don't have any oars to hold on to. Guys, this isn't looking good. <laughs> we're not gonna make it. What is that sound? What is happening? I feel like I should hide below deck. No? Oh my gosh. We literally shipwrecked. We got a chicken. We'll call you Chuckles. Chuckles. Do we, is, are, do we know what happened to the pirate? I forgot to mention this, by the way. If today's episode can hit 30,000 likes, the second episode will go up on my second channel, Beck Bro Plays. If you guys haven't subscribed to that, it'll be linked down below in the, uh, not the comment section, the description. Let's go ahead and investigate. We have another Chuckles over here. Oh my gosh, bro. I, this thing scared the crap out of me. We have a ram. At least I think it's a ram or it's a sheep with overgrown horns. Wait, I see a symbol up ahead. Whoa. Your destiny awaits within the walls of, I, I honestly, I can't read that fast, so I have no idea what these are the walls to. But I will explore. Adventure is out there. Is there, wait. What? That was the coolest thing I think I've ever seen in my entire life. We are about to begin our journey to tame the ultimate Minecraft dragon. Uh, now, as you guys know, I have tamed probably over like 9,000 dragons at this point. Realistically, it's definitely at least over a couple of hundred dragons. I've tamed fire dragons, ice dragons, lightning dragons, all different types, but none have been deemed the ultimate dragon like today's video. The goddess Amara blessed this land with humans and dragons. In recent times, her children quarrel with one another. But you are the bright bound. You shall unite us. Okay, that's a lot of pressure, but I think I can do it. I'm the man for the job. I'm the dragon chief. I have played on so many different dragon worlds over the years, and this one is definitely one of the coolest. It doesn't look like this world just has dragons. It also looks extremely magical too. What the heck are these? There's like lights. How is that, how is that possible? Whoa, is that a dragon egg? Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Approach, do not be afraid. Your destinies are intertwined. This is a dragon egg. There is no way! Okay, okay, calm down, Jack. I literally get goosebumps every single time I see a brand new dragon. Especially one that I have never hatched before. Okay, I'm gonna be super careful. It looks like I have some sort of dragon effect. I'm gonna approach super slowly. I don't want to touch it just in case it's not ready to hatch. You see, the key with dragon eggs is you gotta get close, you gotta listen. So, so I don't I don't hear any crackling. Do I run? <gasps> okay, all right, pro tip, just right click on a dragon egg! What? That is the coolest thing ever. This is my companion, but first I must tame it. Scavenge the sanctuary for some food. Bro, this thing, it's a little baby dragon. This is so cool. Now, as you guys know, at this point, I need name suggestions. Every single time I hatch a brand new dragon, I'll pick the top comment and we will name the little baby dragon. All right, this thing needs some food. Do you have, oh, sweet. We have some food. We have some, what are these, strawberries? Scale berries. All right little variation of a strawberry. I've never met a dragon that eats berries, but there is a first for everything. But wait a second, this thing's wobbling around. <laughs> it's literally like a little toddler. He's just, he's bobbing back and forth. Okay, I need to focus up. We're gonna right click on you. Right click again. Hey dude, stop running away. Stop wobbling. Wiggle. I will, I'll come up and I'll wiggle with you once we're friends. Don't lick the walls. The walls, they, they could have the uh, uh, corona. Social distance yourself from the wall. Okay, okay, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta be serious here. Okay, I'm gonna right click. Right click again. There's a heart. Did I do it? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait a second. I did. A young dragon must be raised with care. Listen carefully for their growing stomach. My bright burn. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's called a bright burn dragon. What is that? It's having. Is it having a seizure because it's hungry? <laughs> this is the weirdest dragon I think I've ever tamed. It definitely matches my energy of like goofball. 
This is such an amazing day. Whoa. Whoa. It got bigger. No way. What the crap just happened? That is so cool. Whoa, whoa, wait a second. Uh, Brightburn, Mr. Dragon, where are these floating things? I can command the dragon to flap its wings by punching while riding. Okay, we will try this out. Do I, okay, punch. Yo, okay, so that's like how I make it yip yip off the ground. Okay, so if I punch, okay, so every single time I punch, it's basically like I'm, I'm, I'm hitting it and then it just knows to flap. And then if I don't press anything, it goes back down to the ground. See, that's how you know that this is an ultimate dragon. It is different than every other dragon that I've ever tamed. This is actually the coolest thing I have done in a very long time, ladies and gentlemen. So I'll make a deal with you guys. If you want this to stay on the main channel, I need tons of likes. The series is going to be powered by you guys. So if you guys want this to remain on the main channel, I need 50,000 likes. If we can hit that within a, just a couple of days, I will upload the second episode on this channel. Let's go see what these floating orbs do. Uh, wait, did I break it? Oh, wait, I think that's where I'm supposed to go. There is some mystical magic happening here. I don't know what, but I feel like it has something to do with the dragon that I just tamed. Okay, let's go follow the secret floating magical Are these balloons? They're more like floating blocks. Okay, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. I'm missing in okay, so interact button while you're in the air to dive. Okay, let's let's go ahead. We're gonna dive. Yo! That is so cool. Okay, I want to make sure not to do a crash landing because I feel like that will concuss my dragon. Okay, we're going to dive right down here. Yo, it literally goes straight down. That is insane. What is this? Is that a rooster? Wait, there's roosters in this world? Hello, hey, hey. Oh, wait, wait. What was that? Was that my dragon? Hey, hey, don't stop trying to eat the sheep. Dragons can apparently only fly for so long, at least these species of dragons. So you have to let them land and rest every once in a while. I can see how many flaps they have left by looking at my XP bar. Once that runs out, I believe that's when they have to go down for a little break. Now, I really hope that I'm able to upgrade these dragons so that they can become stronger and I can also make them bigger and also maybe make it so that they can flap for infinite amount of time. We'll have to sort of learn as we go. Most of the dragons that I've tamed before have been pretty similar to one another, but this one's completely different. Okay, sweet, we made it back. The bright burn is hungry again. Do not worry, buddy, I have scale berries. Flying strengthens young dragons. Okay, sweet, so every time we go on a flight, it'll actually get stronger, which is so cool. Yo, wait, he just got bigger again. He's actually, wait, I think he might be full size. Test your might against these targets, wait. Uh, magical person, what are you talking about? What are you doing? Do not send targets. I'm, I'm scared. Right, Burn, we've talked about this. Stop putting your head in things. It, it already put its head in a wall and now it's putting it in an ice cube. It's definitely one of the coolest dragons I've tamed, but not the smartest. All right, send you a bright burn. I have found our targets. Let's see what sort of attacks the ultimate dragon can do. All right, I have slapped the stick figure. Are you taking a nap? Okay, fine. You don't like that one? That's cool. I didn't like it either. What if I punch this? Why are you flapping your wings? We got a lot of training to do, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a lot of work. But that is okay. This is definitely going to be super worth it. Okay, we're going to bring the dragon nice and close. Punch. I forgot punching does not do the normal punch thing. What about if I... Oh, snap! Okay, so if I press space while I'm on the back of my dragon, it actually will command an attack. That is so cool. Wait a second, there's like, whoa, there's smoke particle effects. So I guess that's the type of fire that it breathes. And if I hold down space as well, I can actually line it up perfectly using the XP bar to do max damage. The exit has been blocked. Whoa, okay, this is so cool. Um, wait a second. Yo, 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 wait a second. We already have dragon on dragon combat. This thing looks way bigger than my dragon. It's called a torn snapper. Okay, hold up. Let's go. We're going to flap our wings. This thing looks like it might be too thick to fly. Yeah. So we're going to use that to our advantage. And we are just going to spam the attack while we're flying. And we should be able to take out this ginormous dragon beast. Looks like the dragon version of a sumo wrestler. You see, when you see a dragon this size, you gotta stay nice and far away. And it is definitely working. We are roasting this dude. I killed it. I don't know how I feel about that, but it had to be done. Okay, it seems like I have to go this way. Oh, there's a circle? That's kind of illegal. When you defeat all of the dragons defending a nest, an egg will appear. 
Maybe you can hatch it and tame it. Wait, what? There's another one? Yo, hold up, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't realize I was getting two ultimate dragons right at the start. We already have our bright burn, but let's see what else we got. Is this going to be a torn snapper? Oh my gosh, it is. I got a torn snapper relic. Uh, guys, please don't fight each other. Wait, this guy actually, he's way cuter when he's a baby. He looks like a turtle dragon. Okay, do I tame you with the relic? Oh wait, do you like scale berries? You do. Let's go! We have a turtle dragon! Ladies and gentlemen, that means I need a second name for our second ultimate dragon! Now, I don't know what this Torn Snapper Relic does. It says it's a memento of motherhood. This is very awkward because I... I am I a mother? Am I, am I the mother of dragons now? Is that how this works? Am I... Okay, I guess I'm... I'm your mom. This is slightly awkward. I didn't, I didn't realize I was going to become a mom today. What do you want? You want... Okay, more scale berries. I could do that. All right, sweet. Can I ride on you? Okay, no, you're still a tiny little baby. It looks like it actually wants a lot of different types of food. You see, our bright burn's very simple. He only eats scale berries. This dude wants sticks. He wants scale berries. He also wants... Uh, the, was that piece of candy? I don't have any candy, bro. If I did, I would have eaten it myself. This guy is so happy. <laughs> He's so fat. He's fat and happy. That's literally me after I eat cookies. Oh, he definitely got bigger. Look at him. Hold on. Okay, I, I can't ride on his back for whatever reason. Uh, oh. Wait, did I do that? Oh. Okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, if I shift right click on a dragon, I immediately uh, I hypnotize them and they go to sleep. That's gonna be really useful. All right, dragons, let's go see what's past the exit. <gasps> Treasure, let's go. Yes. Did I just get coins? Oh. Okay, so it seemed like. Uh, 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 Who are you? I am the mother of dragons, Beck Bro Jack. You can travel to Ardelholm by following the compass. You are free to explore the world, tame and train wild dragons. No way. This is amazing. Look how big the world is. Whoa, I also got a battle axe. Sweet. Don't worry, buddy. I have raw darners for you. He loves it. Okay, don't worry. I have scale berries. This guy's going to be full size in no time. Oh, I think that might have been it. He's full size. Let's go. Can this dude fly? Hold on. Oh my gosh, it actually can. I have no idea how those tiny little wings support it, but it somehow does. Now, as you can tell, he only gets about two flaps in before he completely exhausts himself, but I don't blame him. He's got about 600 pounds of shell on his back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap it up for the first episode of Ultimate Dragons. As I said in the intro, if you guys do want to see more, we need tons of likes. I'm definitely going to continue this on the second channel, but if you guys support the crap out of this series and it gets 50,000 likes in, let's say, five days, I will upload episode two right on this channel. We also need two name suggestions down below in the comments for our Brightburn and also our Turtle Dragon. I already forget what type of species he is, but this is, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a turtle combined with a dragon. I don't know what else it could be called. <laughs>I should probably leave Snappy behind. Snappy can't really fly because uh, his body is massive. Snappy, you stay here. And also find little Snappy while you're at it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if this is the first episode you're seeing on this World of Dragons series, I need you guys to smash the like button. Uh, this series is powered by your guys' likes and your guys' likes alone. Keep the episodes moving along. Uh, so if you guys do want to see another episode where I use all the dragons that I tamed today in order to fight a boss dragon, I need 30,000 likes. Let's try to get that in under two days you guys smashed it last time we got over i think 40,000 likes in just a couple of days so obviously i know you guys can do it eh uh, why am i fighting okay all right now i need to keep my eyes peeled ladies and gentlemen and i also need you guys to as well around the map we should find different dragon nests just like that one over there uh i think i've actually been here before yeah these are the snapping dragons bro and they are vicious since i've already tamed one of those i'm not gonna mess with them don't worry i'll be on my way i was just looking at you no need to get aggressive oh look at this we have more dragons wait a second these ones look quite different than i've seen before i don't know if fighting at night is the best way to go about this so uh, let's check out this town and see if maybe they have a bed for me they do have a hey hey rooster that's a good sign what's up everybody and buy one give me your bed what's up kid give me your bed <laughs> stole your melons oh 
So sorry for stealing your kids' melons. I'm just looking for a bed. Aha, we found one, sweet. Now it's time to hunt some dragons. Fine, I'll give you one melon, little Timmy. Little Timmy gave me the, the very googly eyes, so I, I felt kind of bad. Sky Bright, it's time to get to work. Let's make sure you're fully fed. Uh, uh, just uh, get, uh, get, get back down here. And there we have it. There is a dragon nest. Now, I've never seen this type of dragon before, but that's never stopped me. Let's go check it out. Oh my gosh. Bro, they spit out goo. No, Sky Bright got, got poisoned. Okay, I should probably get him out of here. It's all right, little buddy. Here, you stay back. I'll take care of this. Let's go. Yo, these things are massive, but it seems like they shoot really slow. They also don't do a lot of damage. After I defeated the boss dragon in the last episode, I was able to pick up some super epic gear, which makes dragons barely do any damage to me. This is so sick. Okay, I need to keep focusing this guy, and then I will get the other one. I think I might be demolishing a husband and wife, but uh, they started it first, kind of. We're not going to talk about that. So the weird way that you're able to tame dragons in this very strange world is by killing dragons. You have to defeat them in order to steal the egg from their nest. So I need to make sure not to hit it off of the map. The only way that the nest will appear here is if I defeat both of the dragons that are guarding it. I'm gonna need you to come back here. I probably should have bought a bow. It also looks like we might have something cool over there. But for the time being, we just need to dodge, weave, weave and dodge, dodge, weave, weavy, dodgy, weavy, boom, smashed it. <laughs> what did I get? Dragon skills. But if I did it correctly, there should be a, oh, I think it worked. We did it! Um, okay, I would like an egg, please. Oh, wow, there's a cool animation. Very nice, very nice. And just like that, we have little baby dragon egg. This will be the first of many today. Now, because we're taming so many new dragons, I'm obviously going to need name suggestions for each and every one. Let's see, yes, you like the scale berries. I, I like you very much, too. I love this guy's... Well, I don't even know, is that like his chin? It reminds me of a frog. It has a ginormous frog lip. I really want to call it froggy, but I'll leave the name suggestions to you guys. It almost looks like a tadpole, a frog, and a dragon all at once. Now, this thing is going to be super useful because once it gets big and strong, it will be able to spit out poison. I don't think I've gotten any elemental dragons yet, so this is going to be amazing, especially against some of the boss dragons. While we're out there, we might as well collect a couple berries. Don't worry, buddy. There you go. He loves me. Look at him. I love his little dance. Once I feed the dragons enough, they should uh, evolve into the juvenile stage. And that's when I believe I can stop feeding them for a little bit. But uh, this dude seems to eat a lot. Buddy, just take it easy. You don't need to keep eating the entire universe. I mean, I do the same thing with cookies, so I guess I can't blame him. I get it. You're hungry. Did you, did you, did you like that? Are we friends now? <laughs> he seems to really like me. Let's see if he'll follow me back over to Skybright. Skybright, wake your lazy butt up. We got a brand new dragon. Do they like each other? Skybright seems a little bit concerned but I think they're friends. Maybe even best friends. This is amazing. Yes, and it evolved. Look at it, it got bigger. Okay, let's see how many times we can flap it. Ooh, okay, so very similar to Snappy, the snapping dragon turtle. This thing can't fly too far. Oh, we got another one. Okay, this is definitely different. It looks very similar to the last one that I tamed, but I still don't know if my dragons are ready to fight, especially this little dude. Little froggy, you're gonna have to just take a little nap while I take care of business. We're gonna be very quiet, very stealthy. It will never see what's coming. There is a mean green Beck Bro Jack fighting machine. Charge for the cookies! I will smash your head! Yes, bro, I got it on the run! I gotta figure out where it's going. It should lead me right back to its nest. I'm going absolutely insane. Yeah! Yeah, take that! Oh, snap. Okay, that did a lot of damage. It's flying. It's flying. That's not fair. Dude, what is it shooting? It looks like magic blocks. What are, I don't even know. What are they? Does not matter. I will demolish. This dragon actually seems a lot more powerful than the last dragon that I fought. Yes, dude. Okay, came back down. We should be able to just slice it. We did it. I have no idea where its nest is, though. Is it over the side? Wait, I definitely hear another dragon. It sounds like... Oh, it's down here. What the heck, bro? Is its nest down inside of the cave? I think it actually might be or maybe not i could be completely confused i might die though this thing does so much damage come down and pick on somebody your own size definitely not me i'm about half your size so it's 
technically not even a fair fight. <laughs> I really need to buy a bow. This would make this process so much easier. That's okay, though. We Stop flying away. Stop being weird. Stop being a weirdo, bro. Just let me demolish. Boom, got him. Now, where would the nest be exactly? You see, this is where you guys come in clutch. Uh, my eyeballs are not what they used to be. So this is def- Okay, okay, sweet. We have a base camp with a golden chest. I don't know if this is gonna have anything uh, as good as a dragon egg, but, uh, we got- some stuff. Whoa, what is this thing? Dude, I killed it. Okay. It dropped a spark fly, which, oh, I can actually use to breed dragons together. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty useful. In one of these episodes, I should actually breed some of my dragons together. That way I could just get infinite. Froggy, wake up. You wake up as well. We need to figure out where this nest is. Young chicken, can you please be my spirit guide and lead me to the dragon nest? Maybe? Possibly? Fine. These chickens are savages. Guys, I wasn't able to find the nest, but there's something right below me. And it looks like there might be some dragon eggs there. Okay, I'm gonna drop in really slow. This thing seems like it could potentially be slightly deadly. Skybright, just be really careful. There might be a dragon right underneath you. There are also <laughs> maybe some bones in here. Just give me the chest, give me the chest, give me the chest. Yes, okay, we got some pretty good stuff. <laughs> Yo, this dragon's stuck. This is perfect. I feel terrible, but this is exactly what I wanted. Just a battle where I cannot lose. There's also one like right on the side of this. <laughs> Can I even hit it? I can, kind of. I'm just gonna try to drop right on top of it. Oh, I managed to hit him down. Here we go, now we have a battle. Well, it doesn't seem to be that powerful, and it's not shooting me with anything. It seems like a melee fighter. Oh, I also picked up a crossbow. That's sick. Yes, we finally have ranged attacks. That is going to be super useful. <laughs> Yo, I just yeeted that man. All right, sweet. Now, I believe that should be everything to get that dragon. Wait, this was the nest, right? Is there nest not here? What's up, little froggy? Do we see a nest anywhere? Because I do not, and I'm starting to get slightly concerned that I did all of that work for nothing. Okay, this one definitely has a nest. I'm taking Skybright into battle, ladies and gentlemen. These things are about to get demolished. Yes, it's working. Dodge and weave, baby, dodge and weave. Yo, we are unleashing right now. This is so sick. Okay, Skybright's actually taking quite a bit of damage, but I'm not worried at all. One dragon down, two dragons down. That was so easy. And just like that, we have our third dragon. Yo, this egg looks so cool. Okay, so we right click on it and boom, we have, <laughs> whoa, it looks like a lizard. Okay, this dragon's different than any other dragon that I've had so far. This one seems to want meat. My other dragons have been vegetarians. They just eat berries. This guy on the other hand looks like a savage. Look at those eyeballs. And it also eats raw mutton. All right, I get it. There's a chest. Let's open this. Anything good? Um, I don't know if I need, do, do I need leggings? Do I need peonies? I don't think I need peonies. Yo, this guy's really hungry. And we have some more of the turtle dragons over there, but I really don't feel like messing with them. Wait a second, what did I just press? What's that? Oh, I accidentally pressed on a rift. <laughs> it brought me back to spawn. I am back. Wait, what? Oh, it's little Snappy. What's up, little Snappy? Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, okay, so I traveled to a brand new area. Yo! Nope, nope, those just did so much damage. Oh my gosh, we're in hot pursuit. So I traveled to a new area to try to get our fifth dragon in the Backward Dragon Army. And uh, I thought an ice dragon would be great. These things are terrible. Look at them go. Yo, yo, okay, I gotta I got actually get out of here. These things are going nuts. Are they still behind me? Hold on, I honestly can't tell. Okay, we need to get over here. I definitely need to feed Skybright. Okay, there we go. You should be max health again. That was insane. That means though, if I could tame one of these things, we will have an absolute beast on our team. <gasps> Wait, I see another dragon nest down there too. I really want to get one of these though. I think it's working. They do so much damage. Okay, one is definitely down. No, never mind, never mind. I think I just stunned it. Yo, no! Skybright went down. I am so terrified. Wait, I actually, I need to kill them or else there's no way I'm getting home. Okay, okay, okay. I can do this one down. There's only one left. Hold on, I need to get one of these. That'll set my spawn. No, no, I need another one. Need another one. No, 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 no. Stay away from me. Yes, okay, I need to crossbow it out. Crossbow it out, baby. Get out of here. No, 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 no. Stop shooting me. Bro, we're gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. This is insane. I gotta hide. I gotta hide down here. I think we're safe. It's literally right above me. I got it. 
One final shot did the trick. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. Skybright will be back at spawn in the Well of Dragons, I believe. It should heal right back up. Um, I don't know. Oh, wait, they did have a nest. It's right over here. And wait, there's a special... What is that? Is that okay? I think that might be a chest down there. Okay, after this opens up, we can grab the chest and then we should be able to go back to camp and get Sky Bright. That was absolutely insane, though. For a second there, I thought I was definitely going to die. This thing is going to be so powerful, though. Yes, we got it. Um, wait, do you eat fish? Is this. I don't really know. I think this might be fish. There are so many new dragons that I've tamed today and I have no idea what they eat. Let's also grab this chest down here. This looks like a chest I've never opened before. Yo, that sounded like some legendary chest. Yes, I think we got, what is that, a helmet? I got a dragon armor shard. I got a dragon membrane. I definitely don't need those melons. And I got, ooh, ancient dragon rider trousers. These things are way better. I'm not going to lie, ladies and gentlemen. I think this might be one of my favorite dragons. I love the model and the texture looks so cool. We have a slight problem. I maybe ran out of fish. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna need to go back to the camp and buy some. Okay, sweet, it came back with me. Um, hey, what camp am I at? Oh, is this just the nearest camp? Okay, wait, I should be able to use this, I believe, to teleport back to the oasis. There we go, and Skybray is all the way over here, just sleeping off like a Pokemon uh, with Nurse Joy. Boom, welcome back to the squad. It looks like my guy Lagoose has some fish for me, so we're just gonna trade for a couple of these. Thank you, Lagoose! And it has evolved! Now I can ride on his back. That is so cool. Wow, okay, this dragon actually might be better than Skybright. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot to do today and not a lot of time. What I didn't realize and I figured out after talking to a lot of the people is that every single second that I waste, the ancient dragon bosses are getting stronger. If you guys have missed out on the other episodes, I need you guys to go watch them so you fully understand exactly what is happening. My voice is dying. So far, we have two adult dragons, Skybright and Snappy. Skybright is beautiful and amazing, but Skybright is a little bit battle-worn from the last episode. I basically just used Skybright to fight one of the ancient dragon bosses and Snappy isn't really the best fighter. Snappy's more of like a moral support character that is super cute and cuddly. But luckily in the last episode, we got three new baby dragons. We have a frog, a wizard dragon, and also an ice dragon. And you guys left so many name suggestions. So let's go grab our book and quill and see what you guys came up with. So for our green dragon, you guys wanted to be named Froggy or Frog Boy. The lizard dragon's going to be named Lizzie. That's classic. Classic, and the ice dragon Frosty, named after a very popular snowman. While Sky Bright and Snappy are resting, we're going to train these new baby dragons so that later on in the episode, we are going to be able to take on one more of the ancient dragons. So far, we have three left. And after we defeat the three, then we should be able to challenge Ragnar, the ultimate world eater of dragons. Today, my objective is to travel to the Shining Keep. This should have so many amazing treasures that I can use for our future battle. Okay, there we go. We have the Shimmer Scale Den. I should be able to train our dragons on the way there. Also, I forgot to mention that we need to feed our dragons. Every single dragon that I have likes to eat something a tad bit different. So I think Froggy is a meat eater carnivorous dragon. Boom. Okay, so I don't know when they'll get full size, but when they do, they'll be able to fly longer and do tons more damage. Now, I also have a ton of money from the previous episodes, and today I bought some dragon armor, which I wanted to test on Frosty. Is this... Uh, uh, how do I put the armor on Frosty? I need to figure this out ASAP. It says interact with your dragon. Okay, I'm interacting. Uh, I just put the dragon to sleep. Frosty, come on! I'm actually starting to think that they need to be fully matured and max power in order to add the dragon armor. Before I leave, though, I need to make sure I buy armor for all of them. So it's definitely a tad bit pricey, but I should be able to get enough dragon armor shards. If I go over to my guy Grizz over here, he should be able to transfer that into dragon crystal armor. I also really need to get some boots. Boots and a uh, 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 helm because I have been naked on both parts of my body for a very long time. That is a lot more like it. All right, baby dragons, let's get to training. I'm gonna hop on Frosty. I think Frosty has the best wings out of all of my dragons. Okay, looks like our compass is pointing this way. It would probably be a good idea to train on some smaller dragons before I fight the ancient boss dragon. Also, if I see any dragons that I haven't tamed before, I'm definitely going to engage. Oh, we have a dragon nest. This is a dragon that I haven't tamed before. It was like perfect timing. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I need to be super careful. Uh, mature your dragon to attack. We are actually not able to attack 
Our dragons are still so tiny. Wait, did the other dragons come around? Did I lose two dragons? Wait, please tell me they teleport. Okay, good. <laughs> they actually came by. So the way to mature your dragons and train them the fastest is just by riding on their backs. So like I was saying earlier, each of my baby dragons eat something a little bit different. Frosty loves to eat fish. Luckily for me, we have lots and lots of beautiful fishies. You love it. Yes. Okay, Lizzie, now it's your turn. I'm just gonna sit here and flap my wings a million times. And then we can get another baby dragon over there. Flippity flip flap flap okay now you hungry down we go i think you're also a carnivore like a frog bite so there we go <laughs> i love how happy they get it's contagious i forgot to mention ladies and gentlemen if you guys are watching and do want to see more episodes of ultimate dragons i need your support this series is powered by your guys likes every time an episode gets 30,000 or more likes we can continue the series so if you guys haven't already be sure to smash the like button as hard as you can with your forehead also be sure to get your your grandma your grandpa your Uncle Dan and your uh, Aunt Sally and your pet goldfish to leave a like as well. Froggy's already hungry, bro. This guy's a savage. Or he just loves food like me. Well, he actually eats anything. He'll eat mutton or, sp or spike fish. This is so cool. Frosty can fly the highest out of all of my dragons. Oh, wait a second. I can actually feed them while they're flying. Down we go. That, that is the coolest animation ever. I've been reading through your guys' comments too, and you guys absolutely love this series. You guys could honestly roast me and say a lot of me things about me because I'm not a smart person. I'll give you guys that. But you guys are just amazing people and you guys are always so supportive. It is just unreal. Frosty has got so much bigger, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Frosty is no longer a baby dragon. I can confirm that. No! Frosty has evolved. That is so cool, bro. Look how epic she looks. She turned like slightly purple. That means now Frosty should be able to attack. That is so cool, bro. She shoots out ice spikes. I need to test this out. Froggy, Lizzie, you guys take a little nap. Just take a little resty poo. I have a little business to attend to with Frosty. Frosty is no longer a snowman, ladies and gentlemen. Frosty is an abominable dragon. Let's go. Stay back, buddy. You are about to get absolutely toasted by these ice Bicycles. That wasn't even fair. Is there another dragon? I don't even see the other dragon. Where is it? We have to find it. That's the only way that the nest will unlock. Come on, come on, come on. Where is it, bro? I swear, I just saw it a second ago. Oh, wait, it's just down here, and I just walked into another nest. This is perfect training for Frosty. Another one down, bro. Look at these ginormous snapping turtles. And I just realized, too, it seems like you can tell the difference between the man and the woman dragon. Frosty is a straight savage when it comes to dragons, though, bro. Okay, let's see. I think those were the same dragons, so we should be able to go down here to the nest. We did it. We actually did it. We just got a brand new dragon. Good job, Frosty. Wait, why is, why is she sitting on it? Frosty, this, is, this isn't really your dragon egg. Whoa. I have never seen anything like this. What? That is so cool. Look at its tail. It's like a wrecking ball. Okay, what do you eat? Do you eat? Uh, oh, okay. It looks like it eats meat. So a lot of my dragons are carnivores, which I'm not really too surprised about. It's still super tiny, but let's see if it'll follow me. Oh, snap. Okay, no. I don't think it does. I still haven't taken... Oh, no, it did. It just flew over by itself. That was so cool. Froggy and Lizzie, meet the newest baby dragon. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys know the drill at this point. I need name suggestions for this beast. Look at that. Okay, it evolved. Now it has a saddle. It can't fly too high right now, probably because it's still just a juvenile, but that is still amazing that we were able to get a brand new dragon. We still have a lot of training to do, but we should be able to use Frosty to get a little bit closer to a uh, shimmer scale den. Whoa, look at this ice mountain. That's where I actually tamed Frosty. I think it was right up there. Her egg was actually frozen solid. Oh, look at that. The rest of the baby dragons, they're trying to keep up, but they're so slow. Come on, little babies. We got work to do. Bro, they're actually slower than snails. Oh, wait a second. Are they... Are they even moving? Can they not come past this point? The ancient dragon might be holding them back. Look at that. They just disappeared. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here's what we're going to do. We're going to leave the rest of the dragons back here. Honestly, I've run out of, an, of like literally all of my time. We're going to have to just do it with, with Frosty. Frog boy, Lizzie, an unnamed cool wrecking ball dragon. Everybody just take a little nap, people. Frosty, let's go investigate. I think I may have found it, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like we have a ginormous castle embedded inside this mountain. This this is crazy. What is this, bro? Wait, there's gold. And there's chests everywhere. I have to be on the lookout, ladies and gentlemen. This place has to be deadly. Wait, this might also mean I can add dragon armor. Yes, it does. That is epic. Look at those ice spikes. I think the entrance to the ancient dragon dungeon is right here. What's up, Olaf? My name's Olaf, master dragon hunter. I've sailed all around the world in search of the rarest breeds of dragons. Dragon nests can be found everywhere in forests and caves, even atop of mountains.
mountains. If you're lucky, you'll find a rare shiny one. I'm trying to track down one of the rarest breeds of all, an elder dragon, the Shimmer Scale. She has eluded me so far, but I know I'm close. Wait, dude, Olaf, I am 95% certain that the Shimmer Scale is at the bottom of this castle, right behind these doors. It looks like an order to open it, I need to do something. Fro Frosty, chill, Frosty, chill for a second. Frosty, take a quick nap. I do indeed have some coins. Let's see what happens if I right click on it. Oh my gosh, bro. I just needed one coin to get inside. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is where the elder dragon is. Frosty, no time for sleeping. We got things to do. Olaf, buddy, good luck. If you are a true dragon hunter, you'll join me in here. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Hello. Oh no, no, no. I swear I'm not here for the gold. I might be here for the cookies though. <laughs> This is gonna be sick. Oh, brother, bro. I should have brought the rest of the dragons, Frosty. Get ready, Frosty. It's buried in the gold. What? No! Okay, I need to freeze this dude. Freeze the shimmer scale, bro. Frosty, we got this. It's girl on girl dragon combat. Let's do this. I am actually terrified right now, bro. This is insane. So the shimmer scale definitely uses the gold to her advantage. I need to keep that in mind. Frosty, on the other hand, is extremely upgraded and is able to slow down any dragon. I need to stay away from that gold. I don't even care about the gold. I just need the cookies and I need to save this entire world of dragons. Stay back. No, no, no. Fly, Frosty. Fly. Frosty has barely taken any damage, bro. The freezing ability is insanely overpowered. Yes. Yes. Yes, bro, Frosty is able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the most ultimate dragons. I am blinded. Hold up, hold up, hold up, bro. That is unfair. I can't blind. That is probably why this is an elder ancient dragon. Oh, wait a second. It's charging up an attack, bro. I need to... Oh, that did a lot of damage. That knocked down Frosty to like half health. Hold up, hold up. I need to heal, heal. I don't have anything to heal. Frosty's gonna die. Frosty, no, we gotta retreat. We gotta get out of here. Oh my goodness, bro. Frosty almost just died. The problem is I ran out of fish. That's the only thing Frosty... Frosty will eat. Yes, I'm going fishing, ladies and gentlemen. Any fishies down here? Oh, there are some fishies. After I gather around 10, we should be able to go back in and finish what we started. All of our training has to pay off. <laughs> fishing with a bow and arrow, and it's oddly effective. What's up, little checky chick? Okay, excuse me, little chicken. I gotta move quickly here. Please tell me there was fish in this chest. Any fish? I see zero fish. Oh, I got something called wing water, though. That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, wait, there actually was a ton of fish in there. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, round number two. Now we're we're ready. It is fully healed and probably got a lot stronger. Let's go. Okay, we need to freeze it in its place. That's the only way I can continue to do this much damage. All of our training has led up to this moment, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, it's charging up an attack. This thing is so magical, bro. It has so many different abilities. It's not even fair. Okay, it's running around. I need to make sure to stay behind the pillars. I cannot get hit. I've already taken a little bit of damage. So let's try to heal up. Okay, we did it. Stay back, stay back, stay back. Oh my gosh, bro, this is nuts. This is nuts. She's right on top of me. That's okay, though. Let's use our freezing abilities. It's working. It is actually working. Look at it. It's stunned. We're doing so much damage. Yes, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 It's charging up another attack. That's just so much damage, bro. Okay, we're gonna heal to max health. I, I have to stay out of the gold. We're so close. Frosty is actually destroying Shimmer Scale. No way. Come on, come on. We did it. We actually did it, ladies and gentlemen. We got the Shimmer Scale steal. I am indeed the bright bound. Back, bro, baby, bright, uh, bright, bright. Back, bro, bright bound. Yep, that was the English. Wait, what? What is a boon? And can I eat the boon? Oh, wait, the lower the prices. That is actually so, so cool. Okay, boom. We got the boon. Frosty, you absolute savage. You did it. Olaf, the shimmer scale's in there. I know you've been looking for it for quite some time. Let's go back and check on the rest of the baby dragons. Hopefully they're still there. Yes, they are. Thank God, dude. I was getting a little bit worried. Wake up. It's morning time. No way. We just got Lizzie to mature size as well. This is such a great day, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's see what Lizzie's attack is. Oh, it's like an explosive diarrhea fart, but from her face. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode. Next time, we will have to train Frog Boy and also our brand new Boulder Dragon to be max size. <laughs> Today's episode, we are going to try to take down one of the last boss dragons that is literally just destroying this world. Before I do that though, I do have two dragon crystal armor that I should be able to give to my dragons. I definitely want to give one to Skybright. Oh, that looks so sick. It's like silver armor. And then I have a feeling that Snappy would look so cool with armor. Yes, he does, bro. Look at his tail. It has a giant diamond mace. This fire dragon does not know what's about to come 
hit him. Okay, let's go ahead over here. Uh, we can check out the map. So we've already completed three of the dragon bosses. And I believe after we take out the Molten Wrath Dragon, we should be able to finally challenge Ragnar. The king of all dragons. Uh, excuse me, Rock Smash. Just to excuse me, everybody. I just need to uh, grab this. A rampant, fiery rage shakes Mount Eruptus to its core. Day and night, wails of terror cause the volcano to erupt, scattering the sky with ash. The warden of the volcano has been displaced and can no longer quell the flaming frenzy. The only way to stop the eruption is to fight fire with fire. Venture to Mount Eruptus, but be on your highest guard. Get location. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the only area of the entire World of Dragons that I have not been to yet. And that is why I am bringing my entire army of mature dragons. There's a couple babies that I kind of want to leave behind that I got in the last episode. Um, just because I don't know exactly if they're going to be able to survive. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to survive. All right, Skybright, let's start off this journey. Hopefully everybody follows me. I've actually never done a battle with all of my dragons. Dragons together. Does everybody follow me? Dragon. Oh, okay, 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 cool. I just need to make sure to touch down every once in a while so that they're able to catch up. If I had to guess, ladies and gentlemen, that is the Molten Wrath Lava. Somewhere over there, there is an insanely powerful fire dragon that is making this volcano erupt. We might as well get some training in. So let's just go ahead. We're gonna light up a couple goats and sheep. This is great target practice, and the, the sheep and the goats don't even care. The chickens, on the other hand, hate me for this. It also gives me tools. My Thank you for your schmeats. I will be on my way. So far, it does not look like the mountain volcano has erupted. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we need to keep our guard up. The book said that anything could go wrong and the mountain could erupt. How do I get on a snappy? All right, I guess this is fine. Snappy, take me to victory. Okay, we're here. We're, we're, we're officially in enemy territory. Get out of here, sheep. <laughs> I legit just stomped his face. Okay, we have some hostile frog boys not the problem for ginormous snappy get him snappy yes yes snappy don't play no games snappy smashes everything <laughs> bro i can just spam this too where is the rest of my dragon they all just ditched me as soon as i got to the island hello Dragons! Oh, here they are! Everybody's here! Rock Smash! Smash the rocks! Rock Smash is probably my least powerful dragon, I'm not gonna lie. Smash! 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 Get out of here, you little, you little pleb! Come on, come on! Okay, kill the pleb! Pleb dead! Big pleb dead! Now, normally when you kill the hostile dragons, you do get the egg, but at this point, I have way too many dragons to feed, so we're just gonna leave this for later. Maybe one day I will come back. Actually, that looks, that looks, that looks, I mean, it looks cool. I might, okay, I'm gonna, uh, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hatch it, right? We're gonna, we're gonna hatch a brand new little baby frog boy. We're gonna make sure we're that way, that we tame it, right? But we're just gonna put it to sleep. We're gonna put it to sleep right in the nest. I will be back for you later, you cute little frog dragon. We have bigger and scarier things to deal with today. Oh, whoa! This is the first time I'm ever seeing a fire dragon. Okay, I definitely need to take these out. If I can do that, then I should be able to find the nest and get one for myself. Let's do this! Yo, dude, they literally are shooting molten lava at my dragons! Okay, one down, bro. Frosty is nuts. Did I do it? My dragon is just demolished. Phone. Luckily, okay, that was not the, 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 the fire dragon that we're fighting by the end of today's episode. Because if it was, that would have been really cool. Uh, I have a feeling that the dragon battle later is not going to be as smooth. But we did get our first ever molten lava dragon of the day. This thing is epic. I I wanna I, I wanna make it big and strong. Okay, we're definitely going to need to come back later for this dragon. This dragon, I have a feeling, is going to be probably one of my most powerful ones once it's fully grown. But for the time being, he just a little baby, so we gotta leave the little baby to sleep. Wait a second, what's up here? The building's on fire. This is why they sent me here, bro. Nobody can live here with the 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 the, the eruptions of everything. Everything just keeps getting lit and burnt by the light. Lava. And the only way to stop it is to defeat the fire dragon. Okay, it sounds like there might be a hidden chest. Yes, indeed, there is. Why are my dragons literally so clean, bro? They're just on top of my 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 entire body 99.99999.999% of the time. Did I get anything cool? I got Ancient Dragon Rider Greaves. That sounds pretty sick. It's a flipping dragon party up in here. Everybody's just going nuts. This, however, is not the dragon lair. The dragon lair is normal somewhere deep in the mountainside. I see a few dragon nests around, but we still have yet to find the entrance to the dragon dungeon. 
China. Okay, the compass is pointing this way. Is it not on this island? No, wait a second. It's pointing towards this direction. It might actually not be near the volcano. Never mind. I stand corrected. Hold on, wait. That might be the entrance. This could also be the entrance. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. This is a camp. Okay, so I should be able to camp out here for the night. And then if things go... The, the bed is too far away. I've never gotten that before, but okay, okay. So if things go wrong during the dragon battle, right? I will respawn here. That way I can rush back into battle and help my dragons. But I'm really hoping that does not happen. Uh, just to help myself, we're gonna use Amara's Blessing, which is basically a totem of undying. So if I do die, I'll technically undie myself. Up here is the entrance to the fire cave. This is the last boss dragon battle before we can challenge Ragnar, the king of all dragons. So it looks like in order to enter, I need a dragon bone. Well, what's the, there's a, there's a dragon bone here. Can I, okay, well, that was easy. Take the dragon bone. The, uh, okay, this is, it said, it's not working. It says detector rail. I think I have to detector another bone. <laughs> Wait a second, seriously, what, what, what is going on? I, I swear that was a bone. Hello, Crispy Jim. I, I, I just realized he's called Crispy Jim because half of his face is crispy. Hi, hi, Brightbound. I'm the Honorable Crispy Jim, Warden of the Volcano. For years, I have studied dragons, and I have forged a wonderful bond with the Nether Drake. And I only got burned half a dozen times along the way. I believe that with the Brightbound's connection with dragons that runs deeply, the Brightbound is intrinsically connected with the cycle of nature. Inside Amara Spring is a statue. You can interact with it to reset Ness and the Elder Dragon Bosses. That Thank you, Crispy Jim! So crispy. Well, Crispy Jim did not give me a bone like I thought he would. So I think we may need to fight a dragon in order to get a dragon's bone. Unless a chicken bone will do. Chickens do not drop bones. I will be back, Crispy Jim! Hold my spot in line. Whoa, dude, I love these dragons. So I think these are the Nether Drakes. Let's go annihilate! Sorry, Nether Drake, I need to collect your bones. You're also extremely hostile, so I don't feel super bad. This is perfect training for all of my dragons. They do tons of damage, and they all work together so well. Each of them has a different element. I we lost the dra We're losing dragons left and right! We just lost three dragons! Three of them went down. <laughs> like, like what? I thought, I thought they were way better than that. Okay, well, at least I guess we we got another one of these. Did, did we collect any bones? That was the only reason I fought these things. What's up, little dude? We're gonna we're gonna tame you. You're, uh, yeah, we uh we we just we need, we really need to find a bone. There we go. We actually we got the bones we needed. We are now down to three dragons, which is half of what we started with. I'm honestly not worried though. That means that we have the three strongest dragons of the army. Lizzie, Rock Smash, and Frosty. The dragon, not the snowman. I sacrifice one dragon bone. It has worked. Everything is lining up, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. This is the final battle. I have fought so many dragons in this series leading up to this. It looks semi-terrifying, but I'm not worried. I have fought so many Hello? Did somebody just have diarrhea? Do you need Tums? Er, okay, well, maybe that was a roar. Probably was a dragon roar. This place is crazy. Look at this ceiling, there's smoke everywhere. Oh, oh, okay. Um, they normally, no, no, fly, everybody fly. Get up into the sky, Lizzie. Frosty didn't even make it in. The door closed. That is terrible. Frosty is easily my strongest dragon. I am not ready for this. I, I'm, I'm, dude, what it, I, the, the lava keeps rising. There's nowhere to land. I gotta land over here. Okay, okay, I'm gonna give up, get off, get off Rock Smash. We gotta get on top of Lizzie. Lizzie is just a little bit more powerful, I think. Lizzie is also able to breathe out flames on the Nether Drake. It is working. The Nether Drake's stuck. Get a taste of your own medicine. Yo, we are burning this thing alive. Rock Smash, I need you to just stay in the air. Frosty is literally locked out of the battle. This is the worst thing that could have happened. I'm confident with Lizzie though, for the time being at the very least. Rock Smash is useless because Rock Smash can only use its head and tail to attack. It doesn't breathe any fire. Okay, we should be able to land, at least for the time being. We're landing on magma though. If I jump off, I will definitely die. Luckily, the dragon scales are just thick enough to the point where they do not burn by the magma. Oh my gosh, the magma is gone. That's okay, that's okay. We've been dodging every single attack from the nether drake. I honestly thought this was going to be way more difficult. 
If I had all my dragons here, uh, yeah, yeah, we, we would have probably won already. Or if I had Frosty, Frosty would be able to destroy this thing. Uh, just gonna chill in the corner, breathe a little fire while you have your little diarrhea. The nether drake is so close to going down, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, come on! Oh my gosh, wait a second! It went back into the lava. I need to find a spot to land. We did it! Yes! Stuck on them apples! You are not very strong. Frosty is back, though. We have defeated the final boss dragon, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we can officially fight Ragnar, the king of all dragons. Frosty, I would like to say you did a good job, but you kind of got locked out the door. Lizzie put the entire dragon squad on her back and demolished everybody. Okay, let's see if we get any cool rewards from this beautiful chest. Um, okay, okay. I have no idea exactly what we got because there's dragons flapping in my face. Wait, that was Ragnar. Ragnar somehow was just in my head for a second there. So ladies and gentlemen, this means that in the next episode, we are going to be challenging Ragnar. And Frosty, Frosty, what, really? What do you do? Why are you bathing in fire? As I was saying, next time, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be challenging Ragnar. And if we can defeat it, we will have officially beaten the world of dragons. Rock Smash, you're, you're, you're killing the vibe here. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and leave a like if you guys are excited. The final battle is coming. I need to do way more training. I'm going to get all of my brand new baby dragons maxed out totally mature we're gonna get everybody armor <laughs>of though ladies and gentlemen we have so many amazing dragons sky bright has been training for this moment her entire life i've been reading your guys comments in between episodes and there are supposedly a few dragons that i haven't tamed yet so before i actually go challenge ragnar i really want to go out and find a lightning storm snake dragon i think is what it's called by the way if this is your first time uh watching this series definitely go check out all of the previous episodes this entire world is filled with dragons and there is is um, this crazy dragon called Ragnar that basically turned them all into his undead minions. I was able to defeat the four boss dragons that were minions of Ragnar and collect all of their seals. I'll be able to use those in order to summon Ragnar and challenge him to a battle to see who is the actual king of dragons. Let's get a little, little just a combat training in. There we go. We need to make sure that Skybright is up to every single challenge today. What the heck, bro? Skybright is about to die. Why is Skybright only on two health, bro? Not cool. Not cool. Back it up. Let's take, uh, yeah, let's take about like 12 steps back here. Okay, that's more like it. Oh my gosh, bro. We are absolutely wrecking these two lizard dragons. I think, yep, they are, they are, uh, yeah, dead. Yeah. I would collect the dragon egg, but at this point, I have way too many dragons to take care of. The only thing that I'm looking for is a storm snake lightning dragon. I guess I'll, uh, do a little bit more damage, though. Skybride needs all the testing we can get. What's she doing? What's she looking at? That's right, that's right. Get out of here, little, little, you little turtle dragon. Oh my gosh, there's more. They are surrounding me. Ragnar has to be super angry that I have taken on all of his minions. Wait a second, what kind of dragons are these? These things are slicing me. I don't think I've ever seen these before. These aren't the Storm Snake Lightning Dragons that I'm looking for, but this might be a new species. Let's take them both out super easily, bro. Skybright is insanely powerful nowadays. I think this might be the nest. Let's see what kind of dragon that was. Okay, it's forming together. There we go. It looks like... Oh, what the heck is this? This is called a uh, Crit Claw. Interesting. Look at this little dude. Uh, all right, little buddy, you have no idea exactly what we're going to be fighting today, so we, uh, we're probably just going to have to leave you out here. I will take you first, though. There you go, buddy. Now you just, uh, yeah, you take a little nap. We'll be back later after we defeat Ragnar. Uh, Storm Snake, hello? Where the Storm Snake at? Nope, you are not the Storm Snake. That is a giant molten lava dragon. Luckily, I already have one of those. We have a couple frag boy dragons. Get out here, frag boy. Frag boy, you're about to get lit up right now, buddy. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Stop, stop spitting your poison balls at my face. Get your balls out of here, boy. Stop, stop, stop. Please stop. Thank you. Skybright is an absolute savage, bro. Skybright has been demolishing all of these dragons left and right today. I really hope 
hope that when it comes to fighting Ragnar, Skybright is able to do the exact same thing. Uh, somehow Skybright just lit on fire. I'm not sure if that's a special ability or not, but it kind of looks really cool. Oh, hello, hello. You know, you uh, yeah, you're definitely not lightning dragons. Where? Who is hiding the lightning dragons from me? Seriously. Do they even exist? I feel like they do. I I've heard of storm snakes here. The people here have talked about them. Oh my gosh, I found it. I found it. Yo, they're all the way on the outskirts of the, the, the this like this whole place. Oh my gosh, bro. These things are crazy. Look, they, they don't even have legs. They just electrocuted Brightburn in one single hit, bro. What? What? Nah, 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 nah. What, 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 dude? These things are actually crazy. I, I fully understand now why you guys wanted me to try to find one. Brother, brother. These things are, they're just, they're, 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 bro, bro, bro. Nah, 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 nah. Please, 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 please. Chill, chill, chill. Everybody just calm the heck down. What are you doing? What are you doing? No. I can't fall. I can't fall now. Why is there three of them? Okay, if I can get one of these, we are definitely going to stand a chance against Ragnar. These things are crazy. No, they're breaking my armor. Come on, come on. We can do this. We can do this. If I can't defeat these guys, how do I expect to beat Ragnar? Bruh, bruh, bruh. Chill, 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 chill. I'm dead. I'm flipping dead. I need to bring my whole army here next time. I lure them down into the water. This actually gives me a fighting chance. Normally, electricity and water does not mix, but it seems like this is okay. I don't know why. Oh, I got one. Let's go. Oh my gosh, there's more. I want this one. Whatever color this is, I want I want the yellow one. Hey, 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 stop, stop, stop. Where'd he go? Where did he just disappear? What just happened? Frosty, this is no time for snoozing. We need to go and get those storm snakes. Skybright, wake the heck up. Let's go ahead and bring Snappy too. I feel like we're gonna need all of the firepower we can get our hands on. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do this. What's up? You probably didn't expect to see me again. Oh my gosh, bro. Frosty should be able to just turn these things straight into ice cubes. Oh my goodness. When it do wait, it's, it's raining. That's when they're most effective. That just did so much damage. Okay, Frosty should be able to take out that one. Boom, that one's gone. Now we just need to find the yellow one. Oh my gosh, it's right there. It's literally right there. I don't know what my other dragons are doing. Skybright and Snappy are just waiting. Yes, Frosty did it. No way, dude. Let's go. Did it work? Yes. Yes. This is like a legendary dragon egg. Oh my goodness, bro. Let's go. This is so big. Let's open it. Okay, wait a second. We need to grab the relic too, huh? There we go. We got the Storm Snake Relic. Okay, this thing needs some meats. I got you with the meats, buddy. There you go, little dude. It's so cute when it's tiny, but when it's big, it is going to be the scariest dragon I have yet. <laughs> Look at his neck. Look at it when it turns. <laughs> it's like a puppy. Oh, little buddy. Yes! It's officially... Okay, okay. It, uh, it grew into a juvenile dragon. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to fly it back just so that I can train it to be mature. And by the time we challenge Ragnar, we should be able to get it to a mature-sized dragon so it can attack. Can I add dragon crystal armor? No, okay. I need to wait until it's fully grown. This thing is fast, too. Oh! 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 What just happened? What just happened? I think it matured. Luckily, there is no fall damage. Wait, 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 wait. What? It changed color? Colors? Yo, that is epic. Come here, little buddy. Here, wait, I need to give it some dragon crystal armor. And I've also decided to name it Stormbreaker. Let's see how the armor looks in three, two, one. Yes, 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 yes. I love it. Okay, let's try uh, just a quick attack. Oh, oh, wait, did it just... It just made it rain. Yo, this dragon is actually, I think, the strongest dragon that I have on my team now. Stormbreaker, you wait right there. I'm going to go gather all of the dragons for the final battle against Ragnar. Lizzie, it's officially time. Rock Smash, get ready. Frog boy, let's go. We have to follow this road all the way to the sanctuary. That's where Ragnar has been hiding out. Let's get a little quick test on uh, these little dragons over here. That's fine. Yep, that's right. Get electrocuted, boy. Get electrocuted. Get electrocuted. That was extremely easy, and I love it. Just gonna slither our way all the way up to the tap. Bop our way to the tap. What? Uh, pull out. Did somebody close this door? There is a lever here. Let's hit it. Oh, this is the entrance. This is... It's actually happening, ladies and gentlemen. So many episodes are leading up to this moment. I don't know about you guys, but I am extremely excited, but also extremely nervous. So it looks like up here, we can actually place some of our different relics. So we have a crit claw relic here. Oh, whoa. It actually gives me stats on all of the different dragons that I've tamed. But ladies and gentlemen, the main reason we're here is this. This is Ragnar's shrine, and I believe he is right behind this door. First up, we have the Earthen Seal. This was the first ever boss dragon we took down. Next up, the Shimmer Scale Seal. Third, the Rhyme Skull Seal. And last but not least, the Nether Drake. In three, 
two, one. Oh, what is this? Oh, oh, is he inside? He's not even inside. That's him. He's just ahead. It's Casper the the Ragnar. It's it's it's, it's, it's what is happening, bro, bro, bro. I know I know I might seem like I'm overreacting here, but I, this is not what I was expecting. Puny dragons are no match for my strength, bro. My dragons are straight savages. They have defeated things. Well, maybe not as strong as you, but like kind of as strong as you, maybe. This is literally the prophecy, ladies and gentlemen. Since episode one, it has been told that I am supposed to defeat Ragnar in battle. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? What? Where'd he go? Yo! Dragons attack! We're moving in, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yo, he just shot me up into the air. All of my dragons are shooting everything they got at him. Okay, okay, okay. We need to get on our bright bound. Yes, yes. We are going to unleash. All of my dragons are working together. Look at Ragnar's health. It is dropping. Okay, this is actually going a lot better than I expected, ladies and gentlemen. We may be overprepared for Ragnar. You see, he might be the king of dragons, but I am chief of dragons. There is nobody that beats the chief. That's right, that's right. Wait a second. All of my dragons, bro, I need to get them involved. We need Frosty to get involved. No, he just hit me off my dragon. My bright bird just went down. Skybright has been defeated in combat. We need to get on our brand new Stormbreaker dragon. Unleash. No, no, we lost Frog Boy. Go ahead, go ahead. Light him up. We're on fire. Ragnar is actually doing a ton of damage. We need to make sure that we're healing up. Heal up, heal up, heal up. We can't afford to lose all of our dragons. Rock Smash is in there. He's doing Rock Smash things. He's smashing. He's rocking. <laughs> yes, Rock Smash. He's actually taking all of the damage. Ragnar is officially down to half health, ladies and gentlemen. Smashy's about to get involved. I'm not entirely sure what Lizzie's doing. Lizzie and, and Frosty are just flapping their wings back here. Okay, let's dive down. I'm gonna hop off and I'm gonna see if I can maybe get them involved. Oh my gosh, bro. I'm blinded. I can't see a thing. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Okay, okay, we're gonna get on. Uh, who's this? No, our Torn Snapper went down. Snappy is dead. Okay, we're gonna get Frosty up here. Wait a second. Wait a second. He's taking over my dragons. No! There's no way that's happening. What? What? No way. No way. Frosty, hold up, hold up. I need to get some stuff to heal Frosty. We cannot afford to lose all of our dragons today. Okay, I think we still have a couple of our dragons. Let's unleash Frosty's icicle attack. Ragnar's just staying here. This is perfect. I didn't even realize that he was going to be able to take over my dragons. Stop it. Stop, stop, stop. Please stop, please stop, please stop. Don't you do this. Then we don't have to do this, Ragnar. Lizzie's in there. Lizzie's actually pretty much distracting. Good work, Lizzie. Ragnar is coming directly for me, though. Luckily, Frosty has a ton of health and also insane armor. It's a good thing I loaded every single dragon I had up with armor before this battle. Yes, but we're all unleashing. This is epic. This is everything I wanted it to be. Ragnar is just taking it. It has nowhere to go. The icicles are just freezing his entire body. Okay, we're gonna hop off. Frosty, you do your best. We're gonna go get on Lizzie. I'm not entirely sure yet. Lizzie is almost dead. We're about half health. But Lizzie has insane fire abilities. I think combining the lightning, fire, and icicles is going to do so much damage. It's working. It's actually working. We might actually do this, ladies and gentlemen. In order for this to work, though, I need to make sure I get the last hit as the bright bound. That's what the prophecy foretold on the first episode, so I need to make sure that that happens. Now's my chance, ladies and gentlemen. Now's my chance. We did it! I got the last hit! Ragnar has gone down. I actually did it. Ragnar is dead. Let's go! Get out of here, you big scrub! What? What? What just happened? We may have lost almost all of our dragons, ladies and gentlemen, but but somehow we were able to power through and defeat the king of dragons. We unlocked this brand new area. Whoa, this is Ragnar's shrine. Oh no, it's the Brightburn shrine. That's how Ragnar knew about me. Let's see what this thing is. Brightbound, this is the Ascension Altar. Once all the elder dragons have been defeated, your Brightburn is able to evolve. Put your Brightburn to sleep in the center of the altar. Press the buttons below to choose which dragon to transform it into. Let's see if this actually works. I have Skybright. Skybright, go to sleep right in the center of this altar. Now it's saying I can turn Skybright into Ragnar. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. What? What? I can transform my dragons now? Yo, that is unreal. I wasn't expecting that. Wait, do we have- Oh my gosh, we have different attacks too. We also have another dragon called Amara. This is the coolest thing ever. Oh my gosh, it was all worth it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I think- Whoa! I think this might be the original Skybright. It's so big! Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap it up, at least for now. It seemed like Ragnar was going to come back at some point. He said that the war has just begun. 
I'm not entirely sure what that means, but ladies and gentlemen, if he does come back and you guys want me to challenge him again, please go ahead and leave a like on today's episode. This has been amazing. This was unlike any other Minecraft experience that I have ever played. And I've been playing Minecraft for eight years, so that says something. I hope you guys did enjoy. I am now Beck Bro Jack, Chief and King of Dragons. Uh, I love it. And I will hopefully see you guys all back again here really soon for a brand new video. Peace out, dudes.